Uh, hello, and this is me, Corporal Lork, and welcome to the fourth tutorial on how to make a game in UDK. Now, this time I'm going. <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to add a light important volume to your map. Now, this is important because it allows you to run ma light mass, which allows for much more better lighting when you're doing a final render of your game. So, let's go file and open uh, DM first map and open. So here we are. Here is our map that I've been making with you along the tutorial. And what you need to do is uh, uh, what you need to do is you need to find your builder block. Now, previously I've had my builder block here. So what we need to do is we need to use a builder block to add a volume to our map. So, as you can see, we need the uh, volume to cover up the whole of the map. That includes the sky dome. So, middle mouse button, press down, and drag and drag across to the other end. And that is about. Let's make it. 38432. 38, four, three, two. three eight, I'll write that down. No, it'll say there won't actually. Right, so if you go onto cube and you right click on cube and you make uh, uh, uh -huh. I've already preset these when I did a, a when I tried to do these earlier. I uh so what I'll do is change that to three eight three three seven. Change uh Y to three eight three three seven and change Z to 23776 so build and now close you'll see we have a very large pink box and because you've gone over the limit of how far you can render your builder brush in size it, this will appear to follow you around the map but don't worry it's not actually doing that so first uh, on this screen here select your builder brush and align it with the sky dome and align it here as well uh, so it's roughly in the middle so there we are we've now got our sky dome no our light importance volume encompassing the whole of the area so now we need to add the volume itself so on your left go over volumes and you want to go to add volume and right click and go down until you find light mass important volume now click that and it's automatically added a light importance volume to your map. Now if it's gone off, if it's gone awry a bit, so I'll just add it again. There we are. So now we've added our builder brush. I'm just going to get rid of going to get rid of the yellow line, by the way, shows an added uh, volume of some sort doesn't matter what or copied build with brush and it helps you outline other uh ones you've previously made so i'm just going to i will just delete this one that i misplaced so just cut and we sh should now if we get our builder brush and right click on cube and just make that 256 again 256 five six build and then just put our cube somewhere useful. Let's put it there. So we've now added light importance volume to our game. So now we need to now we are able to use light mass. So what we need to do now is first just save. So it's selected and then go to build lighting all of these are okay and I'm in production quality so it doesn't take a long time and here we are we have got use light mass ticked so click OK and now it will do this and you'll see in your uh, system tray at the bottom here uh, the UDK swarm agent running 
Now, it does sound a bit like some sort of computer virus, but don't worry, it's not. It's it's the bit of software that UDK uses to do all the fancy lighting. Now, before, it would take absolutely blimmin' ages and may not even work uh, if you didn't have a light importance volume. But since we've added one, it will go very, it'll either work or go very quickly as it would before. And when you're just doing game, just you just want to test a Harry out done, you can now just close Swarm Agent when it's done. You don't need that anymore. But when you're actually uh, rendering just to test out the map, you don't need to use light mass. It doesn't matter too much. But when you're actually producing it to be playable for games, you want to add, you want to use light mass because it adds extra that extra bit of detail to the game. So go to game view. You can see we've now got everything encompassed inside the light importance volume, as you can check here. We've got our sky dome. And now it doesn't actually make too much difference to the gameplay. We just play in viewport. But it will become important when you add more detail to the game. And adding the a making uh, producing the actual game itself. So yep, yeah, this is the tutorial on how to add uh, important volume to uh, your UDK map. Um, thanks for watching, uh, please remember to uh, rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, I've really liked a couple of comments on my videos because I'd like to answer any of your queries. Um, and if you have any improvements of what you think I should do in the videos, uh, that would be good. Um, and also, I'm happy, I'm open to requests. If anyone needs any help with any sort of UDK related items, I'd be happy to help. So just put it in the comments. Um, okay then. So next time I will try and maybe, uh, well while um, well uh, I'll edit the map while I'm not recording, so I have a barrier around it, because that will be important for some of the next stages coming up. Um, I will find a way to I'll add wa maybe add some water to the game maybe, um, but that depends on whether I can remember how to do it. And uh, but I think next will probably be adding some artificial intelligence into the game. Uh, okay then, thank you very much for watching, and again, please comment, rate and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, and please continue watching the series. Thank you, and goodbye.